fall came and hit us like a brick this weekend. Restaurant, aren't you supposed to be downsizing for the bus? I don't think you guys want to know how much it was. Damage was done inside of Target today. I love it. Wearing a band tee and someone's like, name three songs. Good morning and happy Monday and happy October 9th. Fall came and hit us like a brick this weekend because it went from, I'm not joking, 90 degrees on like Wednesday or Thursday to then 40s and 50s this past weekend. So I'm in the full overall fit today. We're just gonna embrace it. I don't know why this one piece of hair is like... I had a double, actually a triple event weekend. So there was three events going on this weekend, one in Cincy and two local here. So I was beat bopping everywhere. And I'm definitely feeling the effects of that today. I woke up in a funk. Everybody has their days. Need to be on all but I think I know what can fix it. A coffee. Mm. But more specifically, a coffee in my new cup that Cohen got me. He is 1000% enabling my cup addiction. Knowing damn well, I just went through the kitchen and had to like purge a bunch of them. And then he just waltzes in here with another one. <laughs> but it's adorable and I love it. This lighting is weird here. Look at her. She's adorable. It like moves. And I can like shake it up like a snow globe. Isn't this amazing? I love it. I told Cohen that I'm probably gonna like spill my coffee everywhere because I'm just gonna be like. And he got me something else. He went down to the bus this weekend while I was at events and him and his mom and sister went to Oktoberfest, which is like a big maker's market type Halloween-y farmer's market vibe. And you guys know, I've had like this little clip, little flower clip, right? And he got me a great one. Look how cute. I'm obsessed. But that's Cohen's <laughs> farmer's market haul and not mine because I was working all weekend. I wish I would have went with you guys. Let's make a coffee. I have two updates. One, it is way colder than I thought it was gonna be outside, so we changed into a hoodie underneath instead of a short sleeve shirt. Two, we ran out of creamer this morning, so we tried to drink our coffee and they were just gross and disgusting. I would like everyone to look at the difference between Cohen and I's outfits today because I'm kind of fall meets spring because I'm still wearing overalls, but pink. And then Cohen, one leaf fell from a tree and Cohen went full country on us. <laughs> See, he got the flannel, the Levi's, the West Virginia, and the biggest part is the boots. Lift up those pant legs, baby. <laughs> got the full boots going on. I love my boots. Uh, oh my these are gosh. my favorite boots. They look so good. But just like us standing next to each other. <laughs> Hi there, can I please do a grande iced um, apple crisp oat milk macchiato? Can I do that with 2% milk, 2 pumps white mocha, and 2 pumps apple crisp? And then can I do a venti caramel crunch frappuccino? Can I get that with oat milk please? Do you want the whip still? No thank you. That is it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. The first step on our adventurous day is to Best Buy because we need some new tech. We don't need a drone. I know, but it's like practice. We don't need a drone. We, can put right we don't need a drone. We may or may not have made a really good purchase for the bus. May or may not, it's only a may. We did. We got the Yale lock that has the fingerprint, a key, and it's Wi Fi, so you can unlock it through your phone as well. So that way we can go hiking and not take keys with us and then, whoop, fingerprint back in. I like to look at the shit whenever I get it, so it's already being open. Let's get started. Oh my god, look at this bucket. Download the Yale Access app, install your lock, and set it up and use your lock. It has a measuring thing on this. That's so fucking cool. Okay. Can I tell them how much it was? Ugh, I don't think you guys want to know how much it was. <laughs> <laughs> so we also invested in a new tripod as well, which is back here. You want to tell them why we had to buy a new tripod as well? We were using it down at the bus and I was taking the dogs outside and bringing the camera down and it was open as I was moving it. So that was my fault. And I hit the side of the gate when I walked out and you hear a crack and, you're, and you hear me go off oh, buck. And he broke it. I broke. <laughs> 
for the tripod. So we had to get a new one. So the tripod itself was $79, but the lock was $249.99. Mm. We went bougie as hell on this lock. I'm dropping Cohen off to go get his hair cut. Yeah. Give us the before, give us a nice turn. There we go. There we go. He's getting fancy haircut and a fancy like beard massage trimming grooming thing. I'm excited. He's going to some fancy ass place. They like wrap his feet and hands in like hot towels and like lavender sprayed shit. I don't know. <laughs> hey, men need to be pampered too. I'm not saying you don't. Cohen was trying to talk me into getting like facials and stuff today, but I've never gotten yeah. a facial. I got one facial. And it was great. It was awesome. I'm not like opposed, but like today I was like, mm. I'm going to drop him off and then I'm going to go to Target. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Go ahead, what, what? Is there that another was, bee? That was a bee. Oh. Motherfucker was trying to get in here. When we were coming out of um, Best Buy, there was a bee in here. Like I closed my door and I was like hearing like buzzing, but I thought it was just a fly. Looked over and there's like a little bee trying to d -d 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 in the car, but like trying to get out through the window. What did I do? Flipped out, like straight up, like jumped, jumped into my seat, made me get out of the car. And I got in and then rolled the window down. I was like, just roll the window down. Like, I immediately jumped in his lap and I was like, there's a bee, there's a bee. And he's like, just roll the window down. I was like, open the door. It's like, get me the fuck out of here. I don't want to be locked in a car with a bee. Damage was done inside of Target today. I went and I had a whole cart full of stuff and then Cohen texted me and said he was ready and like his haircut was done, which I'll show you. So I had to like hide my cart in the back of Target, run and go get him, we came back and then I showed him everything that I found. He found some clothes. I'm gonna show you everything that we got. As far as me, I'll let Cohen show his own things. I'm a huge proponent of if I like something, I'm gonna buy it in every color. So there's a few of these things that are the exact same thing, but I just got in a different color. And recently I talked about how I love fall, like October and all the spooky things, fall activities, activities are top tier for me however spring colors and just colorful is also top tier for me so sometimes with like the fall wardrobe it's very gloomy very drab and it affects my mood heavily so something that i was thinking about when trying to find all of these items was how can i make fall more colorful without being too springy like i just want color because i feel like all of my fall wardrobe is browns and blacks and that's just not fun to me we have some pops of color and i'm so excited 90% of this comes from the men's section. I think I only have like a few things from the girls section. I just like the way that men's things fit me. So starting out, I got this pretty fall colored, just long sleeve shirt. Like I love just long sleeve shirts, but like I said, I'm going for color. So I also got this lighter blue color. So it's not as bright as like a spring blue. It's like muted. I think it's really pretty and it's the same material of like a waffle knit. I also found this shirt. I love the 90s-ish style of stuff like this like the stripes on the sleeves and the collar i live for it and i think it looks really really cute again i like the blue going for like a navy vibe instead of just black and then there was only one left of this and i love it again the striped collar and the striped like sleeve and bottom it gives me like varsity vibes without being varsity and it was super comfy and i absolutely loved it so i got this and this was the last one they had and it just so happened to be in my size and then i got a few just staple t-shirts i'm like really diving into this blue color <laughs> slash greeny color for fall this is just a basic short sleeve t-shirt and then i got the same thing in a different color in like a pink key color but like more muted so like this is like spring muted fall exactly what i was going for and then two graphic tees this one which i think is so cute it says nurture nature definitely my vibe like the green and pink combo and then i got this graphic tee which is like a jeep tee even though i don't own a jeep you know it's like wearing a band tee and someone's like name three songs and then I got this crew neck, which is similar to this one. This one is from the women's section. So it does fit a little bit different, like I said, but I liked this one. This one was so soft and it's like a creamy color, which I loved. Now I had to refrain from getting this in multiple colors because they had it in this exact like blue color of the waffle knit and this little burnt color and a green color, which basically matched this. Like I was trying to go for different items of different colors than getting things that look similar. Because I'm sure some of you are watching this like, Marissa, aren't you? supposed to be downsizing for the bus yes but 
something that I've been saying as we move through all of these rooms is I want to make sure that we have the staples that we love and that we use and that are worth bringing on the bus and then getting rid of the things that you know don't love and don't use or replacing those items. So even if I use my tennis shoes a lot, I'm probably gonna need to buy a new pair for the bus because they're just gonna be worn out. So things that I am no longer wearing needs to get donated or sold, taken to Plato's closet or something like that and we are replacing it with a wardrobe that I do love because my closet is full of things that I look at every single day, I hate, and then I immediately turn my head to coincide of the closet and steal everything from his. <laughs> So at the end of the day, why not just go to the men's section and buy all the things that I actually like wearing and move them into my side of the closet? Just makes sense, right? And then I think the rest of this is from the girls section. So I got some more leggings because leggings are a staple in the fall for me. But again, I only have like black pairs. So we want to get some color going in here. So I got this like burgundy wine color and they're ribbed. They're so like soft, compression enough. Like they're literally the perfect legging and they were on clearance. So I got a deal. And if you like something, get it in every color. Got it in this blue color, cause we're just, you know, going head first with this color. Also on clearance. So cute, so soft. And then the third pair of leggings that I got is this like greeny color. There's some like texture going on in the colors and I think it's adorable. Just something else other than black again. I'm excited. In the workout section, like all in motion, I found this cardigan. Standing in your cardigan. Which is the softest thing I have ever felt. It has thumb holes and it's just like a creamy color. Now, they had a lot of colorful items and I don't know why they didn't offer the cardigan in other colors. Maybe I could have looked online, but all they had was the black and the white or like this cream. So I went with the cream to at least add some sort of a color that's better than black to the wardrobe. And then the last two things is something that I'm very excited for because I feel like I've struggled with finding my style for a while. I feel like I hop between styles depending on the season, which is normal, of course. And I have been in love with the style of like a mid slash long skirt and a sweater and I got two skirts like me in a skirt I'm just as shocked as you are but they're really cute and I like that they kind of have like a masculine vibe to them while also being like feminine because I would much rather wear something like this than pants any day of the week I avoid jeans at all cost and I feel like this is a good alternative so I got this little like black satin feel but I doubt it's like real satin of course that is like a slitted lacy like slip skirt cohen was a big fan and i showed him inspo pictures on pinterest of like what i was going for and he said that it definitely looks my vibe and then i got this skirt which is like more floral but like fall colors and it has buttons down the center also looked really cute and i'm really excited for this like i feel like i'm gonna love this style of fall wardrobe and still be able to make it like colorful but fall vibes you know like this with my docks and like a sweater come on that's gonna be so cute and that is everything. Cohen also got some really cute clothes that I still will be stealing. Like I said that I wanted to buy all this so that way I wouldn't wear his clothes, but him buying more clothes and new clothes also means that my wardrobe is expanded. Behind the scenes, Cohen was filming a get ready with me. He's trying to be better about Instagram, y'all. Trying. He's still rolling. <laughs> Look at his fit. He got this new fit. Got some corduroy pants. I love it. You can't really tell on camera because the lighting is terrible. We'll show you outside. Oh, look at that. Like cream <laughs> shirt, cream little, beanie, little, little graphic. Oh. Uh, graphic on the back. What? And I also got some hems, like stuff. I've always wanted to try this. I'm equally as obsessed with my outfit. Like this is all the vibes that I was going for. Went with the black slit skirt, the docks, the cream sweater that I just got. This is what I wanted. And then we changed out my jewelry for gold, gold hoops, slicked back bun. I love it. But Cohen said we couldn't get all of these new clothes and then not go do a date night. So that's why we got all dressed up. Yeah, get to do a date night tonight. I'm excited. excited. I'm excited. We haven't been on a date night in a hot second. I know. I feel like our last official date night that we like called it a date night, because we do a lot of like things together, of course, but like to purposefully get ready with the intent of like date night, I feel like was right after we got Bela. Like we went and after we put her to bed like a baby, we like went like a bar and like had drinks and had dinner and like that was yeah, our last intentional date night. Yeah, you and you did the fuck. talking about how we haven't even been to dinner in so long but we yeah literally had a whole day i feel like i just didn't do enough vlogging in terms of like doing it justice but 
that just means we were fully enjoying the moment together. <laughs> and honestly, find you someone. If you guys have ever seen How I Met Your Mother and like the olive theory, essentially your partner needs to like the opposite bread than you at Cheesecake Factory. Cause I like the white bread, he likes the brown bread and it's like perfect scenario. We may have went overboard cause we came home with four cheesecakes, like two for him and two for me. <laughs> so we have plenty of desserts and I'm not upset about it. And then as we were walking to the car, Cohen was like, do you want to go to Barnes and Noble? And I'm like, yeah. Which asked me that like three months ago and I would have been like, why are we going to the Barnes and Noble? But your girl's a reader now. But let's do a Barnes and Noble haul. I know that this is for like the Barnes and Noble's nook, but it'll also fit a small Kindle. So I got it. It's just like a, a zippered little case. You can also use it for like small paperbacks and stuff. It's like a book sleeve, but it also fits the six inch nook it says. But I love it because one, it is a bunch of cat puns. And then two, we got some rainbows on here. So it's like a two for two. It says Romeo and Juliet, The Great Catsby by F. Scott Katz Gerald, Catechus Finch, Little Meows on the Prairie, The Meta Meowphysis, The Meowciders, A Tale of Two Kitties. Like you get the gist. It's all just like cat puns and I absolutely love it. And then we got some rainbows on here and I think it's really cute and I'm excited to put my Kindle in it. I really want to go like all out and decorate it, of course, get some stickers, get a little case, get a little pop socket. Like I need to contain myself. And then Cohen got two books and I got two books. So I'm already reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder for this month's book club. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to be a girly who can read multiple books at a time, we'll see. But in case I am, I wanted to get two, I guess they're called just like fluff books, just fun reads, you know? Barnes & Noble's doing a buy one, get one 50% off. So I got Business or Pleasure. And then I got Cleat Cute. It's definitely a queer romance. The one line that got me was like, the last thing Grace expects is to become teammates with benefits with like this person and so I'm excited for this one. And then Cohen's two books, he got The Things We Leave Unfinished by Rebecca Yaros who wrote Fourth Wing. So I really really like her like writing style and everything so I'm curious to see what he thinks about this. I already pre-ordered the sequel to Fourth Wing and I cannot wait for that to come in. And then he got a Tessa Bailey which the librarian who was helping us was so nice. She was kind of giving us a bunch of recommendations and she was like yeah these are just total fluff books. Not much plot but like you know, a lot of like the other stuff. And so he got Hook, Line, and Sinker from Tessa Bailey's line. And he got this leather bookmark because he doesn't have one. It says, enjoy the next chapter. That is our Barnes and Noble book haul. <laughs> I have really progressed on this channel, let me tell you. I was about to say, take your last looks of me, but this won't be the last looks because I'll show you tomorrow morning before it happens. But tomorrow my hair will be changing and I'm excited. Hope you guys enjoyed this random date day full of a lot of events. Say good night, Bela. Say, we love you so much, more than you'll ever know. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, okay. <laughs>